Hi and welcome to another episode of Personal Growth Books with Wolkify. My name is Moritz and today we are gonna talk about The One Thing. It's a book I recently finished and it can be seen as a summary of various different personal growth topics. So it's very dense, it's a lot of content, but it's super, super helpful. Let's check it out. So the author of this book, Gary Keller, he was successfully working in real estate, but at the same time he felt like he's constantly overwhelmed. There were so many things he had to take care of, so many people who had demands to him and he just couldn't keep up. He couldn't keep up with his work even though he already was a workaholic. And I'm sure we can all relate to that sometimes. We work and we work and we work and it seems like it just doesn't get less. So what Gary Keller came up with is the method of the one thing. He says that over time he realized that there is some work that is just a lot more important than the rest. And you might be familiar with that principle. It's called the Pareto principle, which pretty much says that 20% of your work or 20% of anything will result for 80% of the results. So if you define which those 20% are in your work life, you can minimize the amount of work that you have to do and maximize the outcome at the same time. So Gary Keller did exactly that and he went even extremer than Pareto. He didn't only focus on 20% of his work, he focused on the one thing that he can do right now that will have the biggest impact on his future results. He calls this the domino effect and he says you need to find that one domino that will make all the other dominoes lined up into your future tip over. Find that one first domino and everything else will fall into place afterwards. And the way you can find your first domino is by asking a focusing question which goes something like this. What is the one thing that you can do right now in order to make all your future tasks either easier or completely obsolete. Ask yourself that question on a daily basis and you will continuously be able to find the one domino that you have to tip over right now. By now you might be thinking, okay Moritz, this is all nice and good, but how do I actually find out where I want to go with my life? How do I find out which domino is the right one to tip over to get to the right destination in the future if I don't know which destination that should be for myself. Well this is something that you need to figure out for yourself but it is crucial that you think about that now because whichever actions you take today, whichever dominoes you tip over today will decide which direction you go with your life and if you go into the wrong direction well then you will never reach the destination that you ultimately want to end up at. So the book says you need to know what your bigger picture is. Have a clear idea what your bigger picture looks like and where you want to be in 10 years. It's only when you know your bigger picture that you can know what your small focus should be today. In order to reach your big picture goal 10 years from now, you need to know where you need to be in five years. You need to know where you want to be in one year. You need to break it down in all these different steps. Where do you want to be in six months? Where do you want to be one month from now? One week from now? At the end of today and then ultimately you can decide what the most important thing to focus on is right now. Right now that you're sitting down getting ready to work, what is it that you should do? That's your one thing, your one main task to focus on throughout that day. It's very, very focused on a small thing in order to ultimately reach your bigger picture goal. One of the main struggles, Gary Keller says, is if you work in a bigger company. There's always people distracting you, there's always emails coming in, phone calls coming in, people have something super urgent that they need to share with you or simply just the gossip from last weekend. There's always so many distractions. 
So the way Gary Keller handles that is by blocking time. Every day for four hours at least in the morning, he focuses only on this one thing. And everybody in his company knows. You cannot distract him during that time. He's not gonna reply to your emails. Just leave him the fuck alone because he's working on his one thing. This is the one thing that he knows will make the biggest difference in his progress. And this is why he blocks so much time. So you need to be able to make sacrifices if you want to focus on that one thing. Cut everything out. Divide all your different tasks into the one thing and everything else. Leave everything else alone and focus on the one thing. Then like after lunch break, after you're done with the one thing for today, then you can focus on answering all those emails, answering all those phone calls. Maybe have a chat with your colleagues, all these different things, but get the one thing done first. Gary Keller says multitasking is bullshit. Don't do multitasking. People can't multitask. If you multitask, you end up doing nothing. So focus on that one thing. Know what your one thing is, get it done for today, then do everything else. Gary Keller explains that there are a couple of misconceptions when it comes to the one thing. You have to get those misconceptions right in order to fully focus on that one thing. And the first one is that you could be more productive by simply being more disciplined. People say, oh, I'm just not disciplined enough. I'm too lazy to do this. I'm too lazy to do that. It's bullshit. Discipline is a myth. People who are highly successful aren't more disciplined. They have the right habits. You gotta build the right habits that support your success in order to propel yourself forward. It's not a matter of discipline. It's instead a matter of building discipline in building habits. So the thing about habits is that it takes about 66 days to really sink in. So hang in there, hang in there for at least two months and then you will see that it gets easier. You don't need to have discipline anymore in order to do the thing. You don't need to even think about it. You're gonna do it automatically. The next misconception that gets mentioned in the book is the misconception of infinite willpower. People think they can just force themselves to do things, but that's not true. At least your willpower won't last forever. Willpower is something that can be depleted. It's a scarce good. And that's why it is so important that you do your one thing early on throughout the day. You cannot first answer emails for two hours, chat with colleagues, do a couple of conference calls and then focus on your one thing because by then you're going to be tired. There's no way you will have the willpower to persevere if you do all these things first, all these distractions, all these things that do not really matter. Instead, get up in the morning, focus on your one thing, and when then later throughout the day your willpower slowly decreases, it doesn't matter anymore. You already did your one thing, you're already good for today. And then the last misconception is about living a balanced life. Gary Keller says you cannot live a balanced life if you want to shoot for the stars. If you want to get on top of things, you have to realize that you need to really grind. There's no way to get there if you live a balanced life. Instead, it needs so much determination, so much focus and so much work on one thing that just by default, you're not gonna be balanced. But this is exactly what I mentioned before. There's only the one thing and everything else. And you need to be able to focus on the one thing. Don't be balanced. Put all your attention on that. And then once something completely gets out of balance, once you feel like you're really dropping the ball on some other things that are also kind of relevant, then these things automatically become your one thing. They automatically become more important and then you can go fix them. But of course, you don't only have your work life, you also have your personal life. And you need to find a way to balance those two. Gary Keller actually separates the two and says, okay, you have one thing at work that you should really focus on and then you have one thing in your personal life, for example, your family, that you should really focus on. You cannot just focus on one or the other. You have to focus on both. But within those two buckets, he calls it, 
you need to have that one thing. Have one thing at work that is so much more important than everything else and have one thing in your private, in your personal life that is a lot more important than everything else. But be aware that in order to get those high end results, you need to be able to have an unbalanced life. You cannot be good at everything because then you're gonna end up not being good at anything. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you learned something and got something out of it. I can recommend the book. It's really a great summary of a lot of different personal development topics. If you're interested in this topic at all, which I assume if you watched my channel, then check out this book, read it for more information. Make sure to subscribe down below because then you're gonna get all the newest videos from me, all the updates. I continuously make more videos like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you next time.